Let's put our hands to work now. We're gonna load our medium format camera, the Diana. Medium format film will give you 12 pictures versus the 35 millimeter film that give you 36 pictures. First thing you want to do is just to open your camera. You will find that you have an empty spool on the right. What we want to do is move the film from left to right. So the film that is in one spool will be by the end of the film in the other spool. The first rule of 120 medium format film is to never let it loose. If you let it loose, it will become a fat film and you will have light leaks inside of the film. So always press the film with your two fingers and while holding the film, you just need to put the film inside of the camera. And you want to insert the edge of the film on the empty spool. So once that the film is inserted in the hole on the spool, you will wind the film. This is just paper, so the medium format film comes protected by paper, while the 35 millimeter done. So you will move your film. You want to see that the camera is loading okay and the film is winding okay. You will see a start sign. That means that everything is okay and you can close the camera now. You're just creating a dark room for your film. You want to check that the camera is completely sealed and you don't have any light leaks. If you, had, if you have an old camera with some light leaks, you can use uh, electricity tape, black tape, just to cover the, the light leaks. Medium format camera has a little window in the back. This little window is red because red light doesn't expose the film. That's why labs use red light bulbs because this light doesn't affect film like natural light. In this little window, you will see the number of the picture you're taking. So your pictures come from one to 12. So while you're winding your film, you want to see the number one in the back part, right? So you're just gonna wind your film. It will take a while because the film is protected by paper. You don't want to spoil your film. Commonly, this film comes separated by periods in the back. I mean, you have these little dots in the back. And after the dots, you have the number. Once you see the number one on the back of your camera, it means you're ready to shoot. You're probably used to digital cameras or automatic cameras where after shooting the picture, the film winds by itself. These cameras, because they're completely manual, you need to wind the film. So once you take the picture, you just wind the film until you see the number two in the back of your camera. You will do this until you shoot your 12 pictures. So again, you just want to see the numbers on the little window and wind after you take each photo to find the next number. If you take a picture without winding the film and then you take another picture without winding, you basically will be creating multiple exposures. So you will have one picture and on top of this picture you will have another picture. This is what we call double exposure. So if you don't want to have a double exposure, always remember to wind your film after taking each picture Basic film photography cameras have just two options. You can either shoot on natural or in bulb. That's N for natural and B for bulb. This means the speed of the shutter. The speed of the shutter lets you control how much light is coming into your frame. So if you shoot on N, you will shoot a picture in 1 60 of a second or something like that, depending on the camera and you use this, this option to shoot during the day when there's a lot of light coming into your camera. If you want to shoot at night or you want to do long exposure pictures, then you will change your option to B, which is bulb. And in this option, as long as you keep pressing the shutter, the aperture will be open. On the Diana cameras, you can deattach the lens and use different lenses. But what is more important about this is that it lets you see the size of your aperture. 
So basically you control the amount of light that is coming to your camera through the shooter speed or through the aperture. Once you have loaded your camera with the film, you want to choose what aperture will you shoot in. The aperture means the size of the hole that allows the, the light to come into the film. So the bigger the aperture, the more light it will come into your film. The smaller the aperture, the less light you, it will be coming to the film. That means that if you're shooting on the beach on a sunny day, again, you will have a lot of light around. So you need a small aperture so the light doesn't expose all your film. But if you're shooting on a dark afternoon, on a cloudy day, on an overcast weekend, you will have to put your camera on a bigger aperture or your lens. It will be controlled on a bigger aperture because you need a lot of light to come inside of the camera and expose the film. So it's easy, just look to the sky, uh, see how many light there is around and choose your aperture based on this. All of the lenses have the focal length on the front and you will need to focus your picture before shooting. Some analog cameras are DSLR, which means uh, they have a mirror inside. And what you can see on the viewfinder is the same the lens is capturing because there is a mirror between the camera and the film and the viewfinder. These plastic cameras, however, they don't have a mirror. So what you see in your viewfinder is not what the lens is capturing. So you will have to focus just by reading the meters on the camera. So for example, this camera goes from one meter to four meter. What does it mean? That if your object or your subject is one meter away from you, you need to focus to one meter. So the lens will focus the light uh, that is one meter away from you. If you're shooting like a landscape, you will have to focus on infinite. That's, that means that all the light that is coming to the camera it's focused because you're shooting the whole landscape. So again, always remember to focus before you shoot each picture. Loading a 35 mm camera is really easy. These cameras have a winder and a rewinder. Because the film is inside of the canister, and once all the film is out of sight of the canister, you want to put it back. So you want to wind the film and rewind it back into the canister. So when you're loading your camera, the thing that you need to do first is just leave your rewinder so you give some space to the film. Most of the cameras, if not all, they have the shape of the film, of the canister, in the back, so you know that you need to place the film. 35 mm uh, cameras has a little bracket on the winder. That is the one that catches the film with the sprockets. So what you want to do is to catch the sprockets of the film with the little bracket on the winder. And once that the sprockets are catched by the bracket, you can wind and see that the film is advancing correctly. If the film is advancing okay, you just need to cover the film. So you want just to cover the back so you don't have light exposing the film. And you will wind until the camera stops by itself. The difference between 35 millimeters and medium format is that most of the medium format cameras, then they, they, the wonder doesn't stop by itself before shooting a photo, while the 35 millimeters cameras, they all, the wonder always stops before each picture. So if you can't wind anymore, it's because you're ready to shoot. Once you shoot your picture, you will be able to wind again until the camera stops by itself. Most of the analog cameras bring an aperture control, but there are some others that don't. For example, the Lomo camera has a light meter, which is controlling the aperture by itself, so you don't need to think of that. Also, the Sardina camera, a plastic point-and-shoot camera, doesn't bring any aperture, because the aperture is just a fixed one that allows you to do good pictures, even if it's a, there's a lot of light, or not much. When you don't have an aperture on the camera, the best way of controlling the light is with the ISO speed. So if there's a lot of light out there, you just want to shoot with a slow film. And if you don't have that much light and you don't have apertures in your camera, you just need to bring a high speed film to your party and a flash.
always carry a flash with you that will help you through dark times.